If you enjoy my videos, please check out my website at creationsciencefiction.com, where you'll find articles on creationism, science, and my blog. If you really enjoy what I'm doing, please consider becoming a contributor at the link in the video description. In this video, I'll be talking about rounded boulders and perched rocks, sometimes called precariously balanced rocks, that are common in parts of Arizona and are also found in many different locations around the world. The boulders in this formation northeast of Phoenix, Arizona, are made of Precambrian granite that formed deep underground about 1.4 billion years ago. This particular granite is very coarse and consists of mostly clear quartz crystals, milky white feldspar crystals, and black biotite. The entire region was once at the bottom of a sea and sedimentary rock layers of limestone and sandstone were deposited above it over millions of years. Then the same tectonic forces that created the Rocky Mountains to the northeast and the Colorado Plateau to the north uplifted the granite thousands of feet and the sedimentary layers above eventually eroded away. Once uplifted erosion brought the granite closer to the surface, pressure on the rock decreased and it began to fracture, allowing rainwater to seep in the cracks and chemical weathering to begin. So the process that formed rounded boulders sitting on top of each other started even before they were exposed at the surface. In this road cut, you can see the granite near the bottom is more solid and has very few cracks and fissures. Ignore the wide vertical lines that I'm pointing out here because those are drill marks made by the crews removing rock to clear the way for the road. Closer to the surface, many horizontal and vertical cracks can be observed. These are the outlines for future rounded boulders. The process is called spheroidal weathering, and it's most common among coarse-grained igneous rocks like the type of granite that was exposed here along Highway 87 between Phoenix and Payson, Arizona. Once the granite becomes exposed through cracks and erosion, chemical weathering begins to break down and change the granite into rounded shapes by affecting the minerals present in the rock. If you've ever seen a rusty nail, you've witnessed the effects of chemical weathering. Many minerals that form when these igneous rocks were deep inside the earth are unstable when exposed to the atmosphere. Minerals that form at the highest temperatures and pressures tend to be the least stable at the surface. Chemical weathering can change the minerals in this granite to clay over many thousands of years. The clay is easily eroded by the elements. The rock becomes rounded at the joints and on the exposed top and sides. Some young earth creationists have brought up fields of rounded boulders or giant boulders at high elevation as evidence of a catastrophic worldwide flood. One creationist street preacher mentioned this very formation to me a few years ago, but I haven't seen anything about it published in creationist literature. One thing you can be sure of though, whether it's glaciers, local flooding, or chemical weathering, there's always a scientific answer that makes a whole lot more sense and is based on actual facts and evidence. <laughs>